Here's a look at some of the top stories for today, January 14, 2018. Let's begin with Dhaka. Government is being forced to uphold unconstitutional executive order from Obama. Unconstitutional? You ask. Don't take my word for it. See for yourself. The notion that I can just suspend deportations through executive order, uh, that's just not the case uh, because there are laws on the books that Congress has passed. So you know that we've got three branches of government. Uh, Congress passes the law. The executive branch's job is to enforce and implement those laws. And then the judiciary has to uh, interpret uh, the laws. There are enough laws on the books by Congress that are very clear in terms of how we have to enforce uh, our immigration system that for me to simply, through executive order, ignore those congressional mandates uh, would uh, not conform with my appropriate role as president. We're not going to use signing statements as a way of doing an end run around Congress. Uh, I've got a pen and I've got a phone. Uh, and I can use that pen to sign executive orders. That's the good thing about being president. I can, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Next we take a look at the inbound missile false alarm in Hawaii. Wow! Talk about the boy who cried wolf. At 0807 at is when the trigger is pulled uh, on the test. The wrong button was pushed on this test. It went into an actual event versus a test. Oh. Oh gosh, what happened? Holy crap. Did something happen? Ballistic missile threat inbound to Hawaii. Seek immediate shelter. This is not a drill. Oh my god. What do we do? A missile may impact on land or sea within minutes. This is not a drill. If you are indoors, stay indoors. If you are outdoors, seek immediate shelter in a building. Remain indoors well away from windows. If you are driving, pull safely to the side of the road and seek shelter in a building or lay on the floor. We will announce when the threat has ended. The Next up is Teaching Refugees to Skateboard in Greece. Why this is considered a top headline is beyond me, but let's take an honest look at the refugee crisis in Greece. Actually, those camps... Syrian army? No, the, the, those camps started being built before having any real conflicts in Syria. So it was premeditated. At but it's over to, three million people. To be used as a humanitarian headline. A new video clip shows what appears to be the staged drowning of a Syrian refugee. <laughs> Despite wearing a life jacket, the man acts like he's struggling in the water while a scene is being filmed by a white man with an American accent. Another refugee throws water towards the drowning man to make the situation look more precarious. Law states that the refugees should be taken to the nearest safe port, which would be Tunisia. But these NGOs are taking them straight to Italy. As you can see in this marinetraffic.com illustration, the NGO boats are leaving Italy, travelling to right off the coast of Libya, just off the coast, then returning to Italy with their human cargo. It's literally a taxi service. And isn't it ironic that the only time these boats are diverted from Sicily is when G7 elitists are in town. It's a security threat for them to be faced with the very crisis they created. And Every day Afghanistan 
hit uh, Syrian no. and Arab uh, Iraqis. Son, every day, every day. Son, Get out, please. It's a private property. You guys are violating the private property. Respect Greece. This is Greece. It's not Middle East. Get the fuck out. We are, we are not having war. We are the victims. We are not them. We have to live like we used before. I want to go to work. I can't. My children want to go to school. They can't. We have to live our life. They took it for us. We're nothing more. They are. They have to take them from here. And the fact that this would even be considered a top story, proves mainstream news outlets are trying to popularize hatred for President Donald Trump. Google, what is ISIS? Hello, Mr. President-elect. Thank you for taking the time to meet with me. No matter Romney, it's so good of you to come. This isn't going to work, is it? I don't think so. Great. Okay. I don't think so. Billy, can I say something? I just want to thank you for all you've done. I wouldn't be president without you. I think about that every day. <laughs> I love it when you do President Trump. I think it's the greatest. I really do. It's the. And Donald Trump has been elected president of the United States. Yeah, you guys are right. It's a historic night. Don't worry about it. Eight years are gonna fly by. Yeah, don't worry. It's gonna be all white. <laughs> what about undocumented immigrants? Oh, they're not going nowhere. Come on, man. You act like everybody trying to pick their own strawberries. God, this is the most shameful thing America has ever done. <laughs> Well, look, I can speak my mind, and I said, I think they're making me out to be a very mean, bad kind of a guy, and that's not me.